19 in the morning time on this Saturday morning, July the 5th, 2014. On a Saturday morning, time to have on a one of the PJ Wiggins, the board report. Saturday morning, July the 5th, 2014. A good morning to y'all this lovely Saturday morning. Our congregation at 8.20 a.m. in North Massachusetts got a temperature of 60 degrees with first class humidity, 6%. With me, the West Mount Summer Boss, my barometer, 12 and 9, 1 inches, 2 about 56 degrees, and visibly of 10 miles. Alright, let's take a look at our radar scope. And it shows a lot of rain shots when the Cape and much of the South Shore from Citroën all the way down to Plymouth and then stretching out to sea. And then some spotty rain shots by the North Shore from Beverly down to Gloucester up in the Ipswich to the Newburyport across and then have to New Hampshire up into parts of New Hampshire. We're looking for a fresh new <laughs> for our food. And this is the post office so you could offer bring in some rain, some much made, and some yells and orange, which means heavy bands of rain. <sighs> from Albion and stretching the Sensitive and out of Plymouth, down from Monroe and stretching out of Belfast, and out for Iceland, down for Harborside, down for Justine and then another line of. Shot heavy rain from Green Mush and stretched it all the way down to Franklin and up Ellsworth down to Surrey and up about Desert around Bar Harbor Bay. Here. And the rain stretches all the way down for much of the Brunswick and up for central portions and eastern portions of Nova Scotia. And up for Gaspy Parvins, go back and the rain shots of western and eastern portions of Prince Edward Island. Here. Today. Furniture, Warwick Store, lost and we got a lot of rain shots off the card as the Georgia coastline and then stretching it out off the Florida coastline and so spotting rain shots of Southern Florida and South Coast Florida and Miami and off the, the Southwestern Florida off Fort Myers. And we got some spotting rain shots off the Southeastern Coast of Texas and stretching it out of Houston area here. And then we have some lot of rain showers for storms from eastern Nebraska, searching the much of Iowa down for northern Missouri here, and some rain shots from northern UP, Michigan up to southern Ontario down for western Ontario and up east central Manitoba. And some spotty rain shots of north central Mexico, searching out for Arizona, western New Mexico down for southern west Colorado, southeastern Utah, and a lot of rain shots in southeastern California here. A lot of rain shots in the northwestern Montana, western Idaho, and a lot of rain shots in west central. What should say that for southwestern British Columbia and about the rain shots, not for much of Alberta. Today. Philly, Nebraska, good evening, 70 degrees. Good morning, with clear skies. Let's take a look at our satellite loop. Beer in it shows. Line of clouds covered a bunch of Northern New England and stretching out of Quebec after the Atlantic Canada and then stretching all the way down through the, off the South Carolina to Georgia and Florida coastline here. Another batch of clouds from Central coming down for Kansas down for Eastern Nebraska and Southeastern South Dakota down for Southern Minnesota, Southwest Wisconsin down for Iowa, Missouri down for Western portions of Illinois. Batch of clouds from Northern Minnesota down for Eastern Manitoba down for Ontario and a batch of clouds covered a bunch of four quarter regions down for Mexico and another batch of clouds from Tremendous. Oregon and Washington State down for Northern, I don't know, down in Northern Montana, Western, North Dakota, and back to class for British Cover, stretching it out for Alberta, Nova Saskatchewan, and up in the back of Tobin, stretching it out, turning it out for Western Quebec. Here. Veggies, you're cool. Mayo, corn dogs. Body class up the southeastern Texas coast, and up the eastern Mexico coastline. Here. Alright, let's take a look at our current condition. Current map situation. Our station front from the eastern Gulf of Mexico, stretch it out from over the photo, then the cold front, stretch it all the way up the Atlantic seaboard, and then stretch it in the meandering, and then the station front from Maine, stretch it up into Atlantic Canada. And that's post tropical cyclone Arthur here, right around Nova Scotia and New Brunswick here. A warm front from Minnesota down from North Central Iowa, and a cold front from Northern Idaho down from Montana down from North Dakota, and a pink front from Eastern North Dakota down from Manitoba, and a front of from Western South Dakota down from Western Nebraska down from Western Kansas and Apu. Western Oklahoma down from Western Texas. Hmm. High pressure in Southern Ohio, Central Texas, off the Florida coastline, and Central Colorado, and Southeastern California, then up west of Baja Mexico, and western portions of Washington State. And while we got low pressure in Southeastern Alberta, and up in Southern Idaho, and up in North Central Mexico, and Northern Florida. I see you're in a buying mood. And a warm front out the Washington Oregon coastlines here. 
60 degrees at temperature in Boston. 66 in Washington, D.C. 69 in Atlanta. 79 in Miami. 77 in Brownsville. 74 in Dallas, Texas. 71 in Kansas City. 61 in Chicago. 68 in Minneapolis. 65 in Great Falls, Montana. 62 in Denver. 71 in Albuquerque. 79 in Salt Lake City. 70 in San Francisco. 55 out in San Francisco. 70 in Los Angeles. 57 in Seattle. And 65 in Great Falls, Montana. Current conditions around the region, we got 60 degrees on temperature in Boston, 65 out of Fitchburg, 58 in Bedford, 59 in Knox, 59 in Beverly East, 56 in Gloucester, it's 57 out in Surbridge, 59 in Worcester, 59 out in Milford, 60 in Webster, 60 in Darwin, in the top, 62 in New Bedford, 57 in Marshfield, in the Barber Sound, 59 in Falmouth, 63 in Cape Cod Bay, in Marfords Vineyard, 62 in Nantucket, 64 in Buck Island, it's 63 in West Police, 59 out at Smithfield, it's 66 out at Springfield, it's 58 at Evers, 60 out at Greenfield, 57 at Pittsfield, 62 at North Adam, 65 at Albany, 59 at Mayton, 63 at Keene, New Hampshire, 62 at Jaffa, New Hampshire, 62 at Cochrane, New Hampshire, 56 at Manchester, New Hampshire, 64 at Nashville, New Hampshire, 58 at Possible, New Hampshire, 57 at New Hampshire, May. And Winslow has got 66 at 62 at Hartford, 66 at Meredith, 64 at Danbury, 66 at Bridgeport, 61 at New Haven, at 68 at New York City, 64 out at Islip, and 67 out in Montauk, New York. Here. All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. Heavy rainfall from Hurricane Auburn and except for tropical remains will impact Upper New England on Saturday and after about two convection expected across the southwest of the United States. In severe thunderstorms are possible for much of the northern plains into the Upper Great Lakes for early Monday. As of early this morning, Hurricane Auburn is weakened to a Category 1 hurricane while transitioning to an extra tropical cycle later this morning. Regardless of this classification, this system will continue to have access to the moisture originating from the deep in the tropics. This should result in fairly hefty rainfall. Right? With a stronger precipitation course, this current forecast indicates a widespread 2 to 4 inches of rain is likely across northeastern Maine and northern Scotia. Back early Sunday, the flash flooding is possible, and the heavier rain bands will the threat to mission in the extra tropical remains lifted in the far eastern Canada. In addition, heavy downpours and gusty winds will continue as the system maintains a fairly low surface pressure wall, which will keep a strong rain in place with exception of the southeast United States. Surface high pressure building over the east coast will be tranquil weather to the wet region. To conclude the holiday weekend further to the south, a stall front storm will keep conditions more unsettled for Monday morning. The combination of lift along the stationary front in addition to the local sea breeze effects will keep thunderstorms in the forecast the next couple of days. A upper anti cyclone is created in the four quarters region will facilitate an increase in the monsoonal moisture. Surging up in the tropical Pacific, a myriad of smaller disc scale disturbances are expected to be under about the upper ridge with H. Impulse uh, bringing a thunderstorm activity triggers as the best coverage for a convection shift to take place during the peak heating. On the day where heavy downpours and gusty winds are possible across the desert southwest and the four quarter region. Here, the straight flow wind in the regime will be weakened, which will may allow some convected cells to become quasi stationary at times. That's fast flooding as possible, particularly in areas of more soap terrain where one up will occur quickly. To the normal interior of the country, periods of such as the thunderstorms are expected as a slow moving fertile system which will work its way. Fox means the United States, the middle level, upper level winds will be much stronger up across the northern plains, upper midwest, as the east location will be closer to the jet stream. Consequently, storms should be much more organized in nature, which will lead to an inherent threat for severe weather. The storm prediction center has placed portions of the northern plains eastward into the upper Great Lakes, but they'll miss me violent and risk for severe thunderstorms for early Monday. <coughs> Alright, the latest on Arthur, now at post tropical cyclone Arthur, 8 a.m. update. Location. Forty-four point five to the north, sixty-six point five to the west. <coughs> and it is centered halfway between Grand Manan in Nova Scotia and St. Mary's Bay in western portion of Nova Scotia here. And And this is Arthur, right here, as a post-tropical cyclone. Here, and it's going to move northeast to Nova Scotia and stretch it out for western. Prince Edward out of east of Quebec as an extra-tropical storm and depression as it approaches Greenland. There. 
Um. And here's the latest Pablo advisory and Hurricane Offer. Offer becomes a post tropical cyclone. Strong winds and heavy rains continue over portions of the southeastern Canada and Daddy's Bay. Location 44.5 to north, 66 and a half to the west. About 50 miles, 8 kilometers north, northwest of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Max will stay with about 6 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Present movement north northeast of 30 degrees at 23 miles per hour, 37 kilometers an hour. Minimum sun suppression, 98 to 3 millibars, 20 to 23 inches. Watch the water change with advisory. Not in summary, and watch the water is in effect. That tropical storm water is in effect for the Nova Scotia, including Cape Breton Island, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick from the U.S. Canada border to Great Ants. In addition, high wind waters are for excess of 40 miles by effect for parts of the nation remain. If for storm and specific to areas of the United States, include possible inland watches warnings. Please monitor products issued by your local National Weather Service forecast office. For storm information specific to your area outside the United States, which is Canada, please monitor products issued by your local National Meteorological Service. At 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 12 UTC, the center of post tropical cyclone offers located near. Latitude 44.5 to the north, longitude 66 to the west, south, and is moving toward the north, northeast near 23 miles per hour, 37 kilometers per hour. In this motion, it is expected to continue with a decrease in forward speed during the next day or so. On the fourth crest track, the center of effort will be moving near or to the western Nova Scotia in the next few hours, and over the Gulf of St. Lost to that. Maximum sustain winds are decreasing near 6 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour, with higher gusts. Additional weakening is a forecast during the next couple of days. Gale force winds extend that to 160 miles an hour, 260 kilometers from the center, and wind gusts at 54 miles per hour, 87 kilometers an hour, was reported at Nuremberg, North West Scotia. <coughs> that minimum central pressure estimated from surface data at Edoy AA, where the constant aircraft observation is 983 millimeters or 23 inches. Has the fact that wind gale force winds have reached portions of southeastern Canada, these winds are expected to spread northward over the one area today, in addition, winds in excess of 40 miles per hour are expected over portions of eastern Maine today. Beyond a cold front that has overtaken the circulation of offer, it's storm surge, coastal flooded as possible along the southern and southeastern coast of Nova Scotia today. Rainfall, rainfall amounts to 2 to 4 inches expected over far eastern Maine and western Nova Scotia, and new birds will come back to maximum amounts to 6 inches possible. Surf, surf, wells journey by offer still affected portions of the Middle Atlantic and the Northeast United States. Swells are possible. Affected portions of Southeast Canada, these swells are expected to cause life threatening surf and rip currents. For more information, please monitor the products issued by your local weather forecast office. Here. And here's our latest local statement on Arthur for the 560 AM for the Boston Weather Service. Arthur has left the area and all trouble storm conditions are ended. New information warned has been discontinued. There is affected this local statement provides important information and recommended action for people in marine interests in select locations of coastal waters off southern. New England, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, the coastal waters, and watches the water. Tropical cyclone watches and warnings are no longer in effect anywhere across southern New England, as well as the Massachusetts, Rhode Island, coastal waters. Please check the latest public marine forecast for detailed information about any additional hazards. Precaution pot. Precautionary preparedness act to make the casualties occur after a storm spot. Be spotted, use caution, pay attention to the possible world closure to stay away from dad power lines. Mariners should check the latest coastal waters forecast before venturing back out. And for the coastal hazards, swimmers are advised to be vigilant for the possibility of rip currents along area beaches until swell produced by offers and time to subside. And for the Barnstable and Nantucket counties of Massachusetts, trouble storm warning is cancelled. Precautionary preparedness actions as soon as you are able. Check in with your port and contact among family and friends. Inform them of the status and condition. Be a good Samaritan and check it out your neighbors. If you are using a portable generator, observe all safety precautions to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Electrocution of fires. Power and generators should be operated outdoors in a dry and well filled place. Do not store fuel inside your home or garage. If operating chain saws and portable generators, review the operator's manual and observe all safety precautions. Small craft should remain in Port of Safe Arbor until all woods and seas have fully subsided for all small craft who are in distress, or if you see someone else in distress, read your situation according to Maritime Protocol. If appropriate, deploy your emergency distress beacon. Coastal hazards. Swimmers should be a vis extra visual current activity, which can be a way to reduce wells bruised by Arthur. And hurricane warning is canceled as winds are diminished, but it will take long for the seas to survive. Please refer to the latest National Weather Service forecast for information on winds and seas. And the trouble storm warning is also canceled for Cape Cod Bay and the Nantucket South as winds have diminished, but it will take long for the seas to fully subside. Please refer to the latest National Weather Service forecast for wind information here. And on trouble depression, Douglas, there. The National Hurricane Center decision and advisories have recently downgraded trouble depression, Douglas, located several hundred miles west of the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula, Mexico. 
on top of a wave. Both scattered shadows and testers located several hundred miles of the southern tip of the Baja, California Peninsula, Mexico, to be the This system is expected to be slow to occur over the next few days while it moves westward and northwest and northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Formation chance for 4 hours, low new 0%. Formation chance for 5 days, low 20%. As Douglas is now in trouble with pressure now 23.1 and up, 119.6 in west. Maximum state winds about 35 miles per hour. And movement in northwest about 9 miles per hour. <coughs> and this is a trouble wave with scattered shots and thunderstorms located several hundred miles south of the southern tip of Baja, California, Peninsula, Mexico. Available in any of this system is going to be slow and occur. Over the next few days, while it moves westward or west northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, formation chance for 40 hours low about 0%, and formation chance for 5 days low about 20%. And we have a slight risk of severe weather. From Eastern North Dakota, North Eastern South Dakota, Northern Minnesota, which is larger population centers in the area of Fargo, Grand Forks, Barat, North Dakota, and Moorhead, Minnesota, and West Fargo, North Dakota. Some larger damage winds and a few tornadoes can be ruled out here. All right, let's take a look at our highs for today. Wow, it's going to be a beautiful day. 75, it's in the 70s and 80s, so it's going to be a gorgeous day after the rains of Oxford yesterday. And down east bay can save up to two to four inches of rain. The further west you go in the main, the less of the temperatures out is probably will save 0.34 inches of rain, 2.08 inches for Baker, 1.72 inches for Millinocket, and 1.6 inches for Caribou. Alright, let's take a look at our view from the outside here. And it shows ooh, a gorgeous day. Sun is in the air, low humidity, and still breezy, but a beautiful day on tap. 24 hours earlier, it was rainy, and now it is a beautiful day on tap for any outdoor activities. All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this. For today, sun is gone under 82 degrees. Northwest with about 16 to 18 miles per hour. Gusts are at 34 miles per hour. Tonight, most of the coast got low 39 degrees. West with about 7 miles per hour. For Sunday, sun is gone under 83 degrees. Southwest with about 7 to 11 miles per hour. For Sunday night, most of the coast got low 65 degrees. And southwest with about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Monday, most of the sun is gone under 84 degrees. And southwest with about 10 to 17 miles per hour. With gusts at 28 miles per hour. Monday night, Park class got low to 71 degrees, and Tuesday, most of the sky got under 88 degrees. Tuesday night, Chester of showers, most of the got low to 71 degrees, chance of to 30%. For Wednesday, at Chester of showers, parts of the sky got under 85 degrees, chance of to 30%. Wednesday night, Chester of showers, most of the sky got low to 67 degrees, chance of to 30%. Thursday, most of the sky got under 82 degrees. Thursday night, Park class got low to 62 degrees, and for Friday, most of the sky got under 82 degrees. Peter, what a phase of the day! A spectacular Saturday attack after the rains of offering. Came through yesterday. A Peter Channel News Time is now 8:38. It's time now for the for the traffic report. And every road is smooth sailing on the highways and byways of Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. And there's an incident on Route One on the northbound side. Around the Revere section, so trust us, extra, but about y'all, good to go here. That's a page you receive a good day with a good positive attitude here.